And now pick your language. I'm going to pick English. And here I have my menu. Now from this point, installing WordPress is very similar to how you would install it on a regular server that you have running. Uh, one thing I need to do is create a database. So I'm going to go to PHP My Admin. Once PHP My Admin opens, you'll see several databases already created. I'm going to create a new one for WordPress. We'll just call it WordPress. I set the collation to UTF-8 Unicode CI. That's what I would recommend for the database and the tables as well. But then click Create. And now there's my WordPress database. It's created. That's all I need to do in PHP My Admin. Now we're going to go back to our files in, exam, in ZAMP. And you could launch the control panel or go straight to your uh, USB drive, either one. But if you maximize the control panel and click Explore, that will open your ZAMP server anyway. So here I'm just in ZAMP Lite on my USB drive. So same thing as if I had just gone to my USB, clicked on ZAMP Lite, and there's all the directories and files in my web server. I'm back there now. So now I just need to put my WordPress code, source code, into my uh, ZAMP server. So I'm going to click on htdocs. We'll view this in list form. In htdocs, then there's a folder directory called ZAMP. You're going to click on ZAMP, and that's where you install your actual uh, WordPress source code. Okay, so it's ZAMP Lite, htdocs, ZAMP. So to do that now, we're going to take our WordPress source code and extract it. Right-clicking on it and extract all. I'm just going to extract it onto the desktop again. And it's extracted. I'll click Cancel. Here's my WordPress extracted directory. Now again, I want to go inside that directory and it's probably extracted into a nested directory, WordPress. If you click on WordPress, there's all the WordPress source code and directories. So that's the directory I want to put in my ZAMP Lite htdocs ZAMPs directory over here. And so I'll just drag and drop it in there. Now that it's moved in, you can leave it WordPress or you can name it anything you want. I'm just going to right click on it and uh, rename it and call it blog. I could have left it WordPress, but just to show you, you can rename that directory. You don't have to leave it called WordPress. And so now I have my source code in place and I have my uh, database created. So now I just go to my local host and install as you normally would through a web hosting account. So to do that, launch your web browser again. Go to localhost and then in the web address after ZAMP type in the name that you named the directory. So it's blog and hit enter. And now you go through the configuration steps. Create a config file. Let's go. Database name, I called it WordPress. Database user is going to be root. That's always root by default on ZAMP when you download it. And there is no password set on the MySQL database. That's one of the reasons that this is insecure. You don't want to put it on the web in the default state. By default, your MySQL database is in ZAMP. Uh, the username is root and there, are, there is no password. Localhost is correct and you can leave the prefix if you want and just click Submit. Run the install. Give your blog a name. Put in an email, even though email is not going to work here, and install. And everything should be installed properly now. I'm just going to copy that password and click Login. Admin, the password that it gave me. And I should be able to log into my newly installed blog on my local computer now. Look at the front. There's the blog. You can see it's installed localhost slash zamp slash blog. And everything should work just like it works on a web hosting account, except this isn't on the web. It's running from your local computer. Now, in the future, all you need to do in order to start this up and run it and so forth, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And let's look down here at the lower right of my computer. Look at the, the uh, systems tray. And you'll see that the Apache and MySQL down here are running on this computer. So as long as Apache and MySQL are running, then you can always get to your website, to your blog on ZAMP, by going to localhost, ZAMP, and your name that you named the blog directory. If, however, that web server isn't running, if you want to stop it for whatever reason, you can double click on that. Your control panel will start. You can stop the MySQL. And you can stop Apache. I could even click Exit here to exit and close out the uh, ZAMP from running down in my systems tray. But if I do that, 
then notice my blog's not available. And in fact, neither is my server. If I try to go to localhost, it can't find it. So in the future, to get to your site, the first thing you always need to do is you need to start your server in MySQL. And all you do is go to your USB drive, open your USB drive or your hard drive or wherever you install XAMPP, click on the XAMPP Lite folder, click on the control panel, XAMPP Control EXE, click here to start Apache, make sure that it's running. If any windows pop up, allow or uh, uh, unblock it. Start your MySQL server. Minimize. Now that the server started, now you should be able to connect to your Apache server and you should be able to connect to your blog or any uh, MySQL PHP applications you have. Now I'll make another video in a week or so and show you how now that you have a local copy running on your computer or your USB drive that if you have any online copies running on a web server uh, that you could actually dump your database and then uh, dump your WP content folder or download your content folder from the web and then import them into your local copy here so that you have a duplicate copy on your computer of any online uh, applications that you have out there. And that really helps for testing. It's really useful again if you're going to be traveling, if you're going to be doing a presentation or something like that and you want to show your blog uh, and you just want to back up in case you can't get internet access. Uh, it's a really neat little application uh, but I'll leave you again with a caveat. Don't install this package on your computer and go and get yourself an IP uh, connection through uh, no IP or something like that and connect to the internet because if you do you're going to be running a very insecure uh, install of your blog. Uh, this isn't intended by default to be run on the web. It's intended to be run on your local computer for testing purposes and things such as that.